Okay, hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you the sandpaper letters. Obviously, I couldn't send everybody sandpaper letters in their activity packs. So I have sent you um, letter formation cards, which you can use like sandpaper letters. I'm going to show you some pictures now, now and I'll explain everything to you. Okay, for those of you new to Montessori, this these are what our sandpaper letters look like. Um, all the vowels are in blue and all the consonants are in pink. The letter is made out of sandpaper. So when the children do the exercise, they feel it, they can see the letter, and they can hear you saying it's eh, eh, eh. So one of the advantages of Montessori is incorporating all the children's senses. And that is what we do with the sandpaper letters. But as I just said, I wasn't able to send everybody them so what I did is I found some lovely letter formation cards that I've sent home um, I think your children might be um, inclined and desire to color them in they would be most welcome to color in the little pictures as long as you can still see the lines on the letters so the children can practice their formations one of the reasons I did also want to do a video is I noticed in the pack there are one or two letters that we write slightly differently and um, yeah, I don't want to cause confusion with the children. Obviously with this activity, the children would have to have some understanding already of what each letter is. If your children don't yet know their letters, you can use them to teach them the different sounds. Um, don't teach them too many at a time. What we normally do at school with the sandpaper letters is we tend to focus on maybe um, two or three at a time and try and use letters from their name. So for instance, um, my daughter's name is Julie Ann. So to introduce her to letters, I introduced her to the letter J first. J for Julie Ann. When you also want to introduce new letters, bring back the letter that you've teached them before um, so that they can familiarize themselves and then they're slightly more confident because there's a letter they do recognize. And yes, there is a letter they don't recognize, but they then you help them to learn it. Okay, right, so I set up myself a little salt tray, which Julianne has enjoyed using. Um, I do apologize, sorry, my dog has decided to join us today, so if you do get little snippets of it, that's what that funny shape is at the top of the video. Okay, in your tray, I've just taken a Tupperware lid. You can use any trays that you have at home. The reason I chose this one is because it was a nice blue color, and when you write in the salt, the color comes through. The other tray that I had was a white tray and the letter wasn't so clear when you wrote in it. So hence my reason for using blue, you can use any color. So for myself, I am left-handed. So I have put my cards on the left because it's easier for me to feel with my left hand. If your child is using their right hand or favoring their right hand, you can put the letters on the other side of your tray. So to introduce it to your child, you will say to them, reminding them that oh sorry reminding you <laughs> that we use phonetic sounds so we don't use the letter name for instance we will not say this is s we will use the sound it makes when you see the letter s so i would say chantal today we're going to do the letter s s s let's feel it s s s right and then you can give your child an opportunity to feel the formation as I said earlier, if they already know their letters and they just want to practice, we always start practicing with the salt tray. Again, it's a nice sensorial um, experience. I've got a lovely little easel that I was given as a gift. So what I like to do is, for instance, I could say this is a s let's feel it. So you feel it on the card first, and then I like to put it on display up there so they can see. And then we can practice here. Okay, would you like it to? If you want to, you can write yours on one side and then your child can practice theirs next to you. Okay, if you would like to practice really big letters, you can turn it the other way and use the whole tray. And then you get a nice big sensorial experience of writing the letters. Okay, 
So the numbers would be done in a very similar way. You would also say what the numbers are first and then they can practice them in the tray. So the two letters I wanted to show you that are slightly different is the T. You can see they've just done a straight line down and across. When we do it, this is how we write it here. So you can see we do a curl at the bottom. We give him a bit of a tail. Likewise, the letter Y is also just a straight line and around. Again, there are nothing, there's nothing wrong with these letters, but just to keep in line with the sandpaper letters we've got at school. We just try and keep the letters as similar as possible. Okay, and there is your yeah. So what I am planning to do now is just go through the letters phonetically with you. So again, like I just said, that is yeah. T. J. A. R P P O oh. N Z Qu Qu X X And this, please note, it's the end sound is a X as in fuck Okay, it didn't start with that one. So, w, a, v, m, for mouse, l, b, b, for bat. Igloo. G. G. H. E. E. F. K. And D. Okay, you don't need to do the letters in alphabetical order. Um, as I said earlier, we just tend to use the letters in the child's name first as a basis for learning the letters. And again, the reason we do phonetic is to assist them with reading. For instance, if they see the word cat, if we've taught them ABC, they can't sound out a word before they read it because it would be C-A-T. C-A-T doesn't sound anything like cat. Whereas phonetically, they can sound out the words. So if they see the word cat, c a at cat it's far easier to help them with their reading when everything is phonetic okay so i hope this short little video helped you with your sandpaper letters or cardboard letters another tip if you would prefer if you have a bit of glue at home white glue preferably you can trace over the letters in glue and sprinkle some salt over them and in that way you've made your own cardboard sandpaper letters that's also an option available to you if you've got the time to do it and if you've got glue and salt at home as well so i hope that helps and yeah repeat these activities with the numbers and again this is a lovely exercise that can be done often and regularly to help them to remember their letters have a lovely day bye